This is the worst bike I've ever bought in my life. But it's gonna be the most fun as well. Okay, goodbye Mr. Motorcycle Truck Delivery Man. And thank you for what is now my nightmare. Look at this thing, man. This is, like a re oh, I couldn't even stand it up because like the forks have actually fallen out. So look at that. The whole bottom triple has just ripped right off. The front wheel is not quite round anymore. Um, yeah, where do I start? And okay, hats on backwards, check. Rec Ducati, check. Welcome to the next build of 2023, a 959 Ducati Panigale Superbike, and this is well and truly ruined. But it won't be wrecked for long because this bike is gonna look insane. We've gone out to our viewers, we've got 5,000 plus votes, and our winner is actually this titanium bronze theme with a 959 across it. It's gonna look amazing. Okay, so the good news is this bike does run. So check out this footage and that's the reason I bought it. I know it's trashed, but at least I know the engine is good and that's the main thing. The engine's the most expensive. So worst case scenario, we would part this bike out if it, if it wasn't worth building. But that's not the case. We are gonna build the bike. So I was a bit concerned at first when I got the bike and it came off the truck and I thought, man, this bike is totally wrecked. But the more I dig into it, I, I actually think it's just dirty. So there's like a lot of cleaning that's needed. Most things have come off pretty easily so far. So something weird is going on with this bike. All of the bolts on the rear uh, subframe, even the bolts are really hard to get to. Like you've got to, you've, you have to take all the plastics off just to get to those bolts. All those bolts were finger tight, if that. Most of them were loose, like quite literally just loose in your fingers. Okay, so aside from being totally scratched, I think this fork leg is potentially okay. I'll get it checked, I'll take it to, there's a local guy who actually uh, straightens up frames. I'll get him to check this shock uh, just to make sure it's okay. But if it's okay, probably 200 bucks, $220 on eBay, I'd say. So I'll show you on the blackboard later, but one of my biggest goals with this build is to try and not spend as much money as I have previously. So um, by that, all the parts that come off it, if I can salvage, um, I'll do exactly that. I'll see if I can clean it up, get it ready, put it on eBay and try and make some money back. And hopefully uh, that money will then pay for a whole bunch of nice blingy Italian parts to really like make this build fire. Do you remember how hard it was for me to get the radiators out of the V2 that we just built? It was insanely painful. Whereas, because everything's broken on this, it all actually came out quite easily, but both these radiators are completely shot to pieces. I can't salvage anything. Maybe some of the rubber little bungs, but that's about it. Okay, 
so it's about three hours in. It's just started to rain outside. Uh, I'm trying to take the exhaust off. There's four main bolts holding the exhaust on. I've got three of them off, and then there's one left, which is actually hidden in behind this rear set. So I might as well take the rear sets off as well. I'm not gonna need them, and I'm gonna sell them. So we'll go ahead, take the rear sets off. I should be able to get to that fourth bolt, and then hopefully the whole exhaust will just drop down. Hopefully. Look at my hands, look how dirty I am. Exhaust off. Cool. That was actually quite easy. Awesome progress. It's another day, so it's another morning, fresh white t-shirt. Uh, we've just taken the exhaust off properly, and now there's really not that much left of the bike, to be honest. Like, look at that. It's really the value pieces that we're actually gonna keep. However, uh, the evac canister, that's gonna come off as well. That's why it's just sitting there loosely. Um, there's a few other parts coming off the engine. And then I think I'm gonna take this off, because if you have a look at it, it is faded to heck. I like the gold outer rim. Yeah, that's cool. It's got some weird funky colored bolts on the outside, which actually don't match. Um, but I don't think it's genuine. So I don't think it's genuine Duca bike or CNC racing because it doesn't have like the normal little signature stamped in logo up the top there. So I think it might be like really cheap, cheap, cheap aftermarket stuff. So I might even replace it completely with OEM uh, face for that because I've got a spare one off the V2 and it should fit. If you look at the face of this one, it actually has the Duca bike stamp up the top there and it's a much, much nicer quality. Even just looking at the wheel and everything, it's like it's fully stamped in and it looks nice. So yeah, it's like 32 degrees here. It must be like over 100 degrees Fahrenheit in the shed and it is stonking hot. So next job, I'm gonna drain the oil, um, just inspect the oil with a magnet just to see if there's anything loose in the oil. Uh, like metal fragments um, and then we'll replace the clutch cover and then that is it for the tear down next up this baby needs a clean dang it's dirty So while the oil's draining for probably a good few hours, we're just gonna wanna dry it, completely dry out that engine. Um, the oil's come out almost red, uh, like, a, like a ready black. It's a weird color. Um, I haven't run uh, the magnet through it yet, but I'll check it in a minute. Um, so whilst we're doing that, I'm just gonna take this cover off. Uh, the good news is at least these cover bolts will lock tight it on. Okay, don't break the seal. Hey, that's, that has no markings on it at all. Like, as if to say it's a nice brand. It's pretty heavy too. We're probably gonna, probably gonna save weight just by taking it out. These markings are horrible. It looks like someone's actually done it themselves. So, I'm gonna show you. Come in closer. We're just gonna replace this. We're just gonna replace the basket and the little spinny, bitty, spinny winny thing because look at this. Can you see that? 
look at that. It's like someone's hand actually ground it down to make it look silver so it actually spins. That is horrible. Like that's the worst thing I think I've seen on a custom bike. That is so bad. I wouldn't even be surprised if the clutch isn't really even doing its job properly. Replacement bearing, to be honest. Bearing and rod replacement. Yeah, when you spin that, can you hear that? It's actually, it's not great. Okay, so we've got about seven hundred dollars worth of parts we can sell on eBay, and it's all selling pretty quick for Ducati stuff at the moment, so that should be good. We'll just take it outside, give it a bath, give it a clean, put it on eBay. Let's take $700 off $4,200. That, uh, what does that leave us? $3,500 and that's our starting point. There you go. So next up is cleaning. I'm not gonna clean it today. I'm not gonna bother showing you how I clean a bike. That would just bore you to tears. We hopefully have a couple of massive announcements about some sponsorships coming on board. Um, so look forward to that. Should be an exhaust sponsor and a full Italian parts sponsor. So we'll be talking to you more about that in the next couple of episodes. Um, and then bring on the custom 959. Peace out. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and like.